Okay, a real quick uh, note about this video. Since I didn't have a personal YouTube channel account, I'm posting it on the Dig Enter channel, a business which I've been involved in. Okay, hope this uh, video is going to be helpful to you. Let's get to it. So, the condition of the gear housing, uh, which is basically the base of the antenna. Um, over the years, it has been destroyed by the sun. And so I ordered a new part. So today I will be replacing that. And um, when I was looking at how to do it, I could not find any videos at all. So I'm going to see if I can have uh, documentation for others to look at. So let's get a closer look at the gear housing. You can see it's been really, really broken up and it's in pretty bad shape. In fact, some years earlier, I had actually tried to um, repair it a little bit with uh, some fiberglass cloth. And that's uh, what you see on it. it. looks like tape or something. You can see that uh, things were in such bad shape that the antenna will not even stand up by itself any longer. And so I have a big cement paver leaning against it to keep it from falling down. Hopefully after the repair, none of that will be required. So let's get on with it. When I first showed you the uh, base earlier today, um, I did not have the new part. Uh, it came in later in the afternoon. So this is the new part. As you can see, it's metal as opposed to the original, which was plastic. So this should work quite well and last for the life of the RV. The first place that I had to begin is inside the RV in the ceiling. There is a 15 16 nut that holds this in and so I had to get up there and uh, remove that nut so that I can remove the base. The problem was <laughs> that when they built the RV they had so much silicone in there surrounding the nut. So it took me a really long time uh, to remove all of the uh, caulk in order to get a socket on it. Because of the tube on the gear housing, it requires a deep socket. As I said, 15 16 and uh, so I'm just showing you why, why you need a deep socket. Now, <clears throat> If it uh, happens that you don't have a 15 16 but you've got metric deep sockets, um, a 24 millimeter will work just as well. As a matter of fact, that's what I used is a 24 millimeter because I didn't have a 15 16. And uh, actually, a neighbor happened to have this 24 millimeter, which worked just fine. So right now, being that it's no longer attached into the ceiling, I'm just going to pull out the whole antenna. Now, with the new part uh, came this circular piece of plastic. This is the old one, and it was right on top of the roof. It was right here. So I took that out, and then I'm going to put in the new one. Also, at the top here, was this rubber washer which fit right right in like this also received a new one of those so I'll put the new the new one into that also with the new part came this thin this very very thin plastic um, I don't know if you'd call it a washer but uh, when I removed the old one it did not have this so I'm just assuming that this goes on top of the new rubber washer so that's where I'm going to put it Okay, little correction. On the WineGuard website, there is a PDF document of replacement parts for the Sensar antenna. And looking at the illustrations there, I happen to notice that that little clear washer, as I referred to it, does not go where I assumed it went. Where it appears to go is on top of the uh, 15th, 16th 
nut that you will screw up into the ceiling. So far as I can determine, the primary purpose of this part is to provide for a smoother surface between the nut and the bottom of the housing, making for a more fluid rotation of the antenna. So I am going to um, probably be completing this in too low light, but uh, you get the idea. I will show you the completed uh, project tomorrow. I'm about to go down inside into the ceiling and uh, put in the 15 16 nut. It's a black, a black plastic nut that holds this in. Here I am back up on the roof this morning to show you what I completed after dark yesterday. I installed the new gear housing and then um, I reassembled the uh, antenna onto the gear housing. And then you're seeing left the leftover parts, the old pins, the old gear housing. And uh, you can see what bad shape that was in. I crank the antenna up just to show that I no longer need my trusty old paver. So here it is, installation of the gear housing complete and the antenna standing proudly on its own.